Yes. <laughs> Dr. Millie in the house. All right. <laughs> I appreciate that. The carnivore diet. Because of the heat. Honestly, you've really touched my heart. Think about your most exhausted self. Because that's the thing. We all think about our future selves as being perfect, having ironclad willpower, you know, never really giving into temptation, being able to resist everything. But like, we live in the real world. We're going to get in an argument with someone. We're going to get yeah. be tired at some stage. We're going to be in a bad mood at some stage. You know, we're going to be hungry at some stage. All of these things are going to affect us. And so a, a way to kind of bring that into what we've just talked about is, well, to say, well, on a scale of one to 10, how much will my most exhausted self, how likely are they to be able to be still carrying this out a week from now? Or my most depleted self, or my most fatigued self, or my most stressed out self. Interesting. You know, because if you know you've got a week coming up, there is absolutely no point in setting up your habit in a way that you can only do it if circumstances are perfect, because welcome to life, that's never going to happen. And so you need to set up your habits in a way that they can weather the storm, because habits are formed through repetition, Mm -hmm. And so the thing is, you, if you do the same thing in the same circumstance enough times, it becomes a habit. And that's what we want. We want this repetition. But if you can only repeat your habit when the circumstances are perfect, then you're not going to uh, allow it to become a habit. And that's where habit takes over from motivation. When you can repeat it in all circumstances, then you don't have to be motivated anymore. Wow. Okay. So if I go to, uh, that's that, I love it. And my brain goes to if my exhausted self can't even get out off the couch, mm. uh, she's not going to want to go for a walk. She's, she's not going to really, she's going to want to eat something that is going to give me a dopamine rush as opposed to something that is just going to be good for my, my body. So I might not want to eat healthy. Like mm. what if the exhausted self is depressed and like, how do I, how do I, create a positive habit for her mm. if that depleted state feels so low like how do you right. change yeah. any habit in that moment wonderful question because that is life right <laughs> and, and that is something that we yeah. face 